Hey everyone, Joss, we're here from the great room back to a new gumball review. And if you need this last one, go and check it out. And this is another good episode, and it starts with Addie's just are waking up Nicole and telling her to say promise to take her to this Daisy donkey. Da so, and even playing recordings of being just saying different things of being a wouldn't want to be a horrible mother. And the, or Richard, if I can get out my words, Richard got this body fat thing which he uses and he's like, what could go wrong since he's at the, since he's at the house? Yeah, we can see what can go wrong. And yeah, they're playing their Dodger Dare game. And a pretty cool contraption. And, yeah, the ball ends up hitting Darwin. Or, not Darwin. Gumball in the face. And accidentally going into Mr. Watterson's yard. Knocking off Mrs. Wa Robinson's hair. <clears throat> and, of course, they're getting punished. So, they're having to rake the leaves. Which, yeah, they divide each of the leaves. And then they cut the grass with toenail clippers. And then he told them to paint the fence. Which, yeah, they painted it different, different colors. And he even drew a picture of Mr. Robinson. And spilling, trying to spill, make stains on the rug. But, of course, they keep sucking it or drinking it before it even gets hit. And, of course, he kicks them out of his house. And, yeah, they're still unaware, though. They are unaware, thinking that Mr. Robinson needs help. Honestly, he does not need help, but they're unaware that, obviously, that he does not want their help. But he, th but Gumball and Darwin believe that they do need, he does need their help. Again, this is pretty much like Spongebob and Squidward. Spongebob and Patrick and what they do to Squidward. They're so, always so unaware. And, of course, they're trying to do different things to Mr. Robins Rob Robinson, and they get kicked out, even just doing different things. And, yeah, they're like, we we love you, Mr. Robinson. For real, though, they're exactly like SpongeBob and Patrick. And Mr. Robinson is just like Squidward. And he tells them to go and paint, wash his car, his new car. And he Gumball is about to wash it, and he barely touches it with the sponge, and it completely collapses, crumbles, and it gets set on fire. And yeah, the Robinsons say what happened to their car, and Richard is somehow in the in their attic as well. And yeah, at ease, and Nicole is heading back, and apparently they say a police officer that is in the yard, and yeah, we say exactly what happened. Richard says what happened, which was from his body fat machine, and he threw it onto, making a dent on the Robinson's car. And, yeah, he tried to buff it out, but, of course, it ends up crashing or collapsing. And, yeah, Nicole tells her of what exactly happened, which she accidentally backed out and hit the car. But, of course, he couldn't tell Mr. Robinson about it. Which, yeah, Mr. Robinson tells the policeman to go and arrest them. And he's going to take matters to his own hand. And, yeah, they're going and, ax and vandalizing gumballs in their family's car. And, yeah, they are absolutely going insane. Which, yeah, they end up getting arrested. The Rob Robinsons end up getting arrested for this. And, well, Richard says there is one thing that managed to do well. And that was that Messane, his body fat Messane. And, yeah, it really helped, I can say. <laughs> to a new gumball review. And if you need the last one, go and check it out. And this is another good episode. <clears throat> and it starts with Richard Darwin at ease. And Nicole just waiting to get into the sour because, yeah, Gumball is just taking up the sour. And, yeah, the water just stops. And he ends up going into the toilet. And, yeah, when he goes to the bus, his finger gets caught. Like, that has to hurt. 
and yeah, he is not having a good day today. For real. And he just doesn't know what's going on today. And yeah, he's having to get some clothes in the lost and found. Which yeah, he then accidentally yells toward of what it of course it's not towards Principal Brown, but it looks like it. And he gets detention. And yeah, he he believes that he might have a curse or be cursed. And you know, cursed bad luck. And they try to find a four leaf clover and they do. And he ends up getting kicked with a football. And yeah, he decides to take Addie's advice, which she doesn't really have any advice. And she gives Gumball these different things that are considered bad luck, if you do, at the same time of using an using an umbrella to break glass and then use the umbrella to go underneath a ladder. And he does, and he gets electrocuted. Like, dang. And Darwin actually tells Gumball exactly of what might be going on, which, yeah, they did this amazing trick when it came to setting, setting up the table, which, yeah, it was very impressive, and he may have realized that he may have used up all his bad luck for that day, for one day, and if he just survives today, then he'll be able to, or things will get back to normal, and, yeah, he's having to be in detention, and, yeah, thanks. Things are just not going well for Gumball, I can say. Things just happening left, right, and center, and exploding the room, too. And him going off into the road, tires, even thinking that he's going to go off a cliff. But he tries to make it, but he doesn't make it. And, yeah, the doctors, they said that the doctors are just lucky that are saying that they were lucky that he was alive or he he's alive still and yeah he feels that his bad luck has run out now and yeah we say that they're just trying to get the tickets which yeah we see a ticket just flying and yeah it gets it goes to them but it goes it gets shredded into the fan and because Darwin wished for snow. <laughs> but yeah, a really good one. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you have a nice channel. If you have anything new, like to know everything. Good to the next one.